parents were like, the boys have a surprise for you. Well, they came out and they hugged us, all of us. They hug me outside of the games too, and they tell me they love me, they message me, you know, and that, and that truly means a lot to me. It's like my child is hugging me through them every time they hug me. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> He's here with me, I feel it. Eli was a very fun kid. Basketball was his thing. I mean, he loved football too, but basketball was the biggest thing. We have lots of littler cousins and he would get them up to the school and play basketball until sun was down. I have an autistic cousin. When Eli was around, he would be calm and Eli would just get him to do you know, whatever anybody wanted him to. He loved hugs. He would hug everybody. And I mean everybody. <laughs> Some girls from his class had told me, they were like, he would come up and hug us. And like, they were like, we were never a hugger before we met Eli. And now they're like, now we're hugging everybody all the time. We tried to correct it back onto the road and they rolled. It was him, his cousin, and a friend. Losing a child is one of the worst feelings you'll ever feel in your life. And it's the hardest thing you'll ever have to go through. And I hope nobody ever has to go through it because it is by far the worst. You can't breathe, you don't wanna eat, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do anything. <laughs> you just wanna go with them, honestly. You look for things to comfort you. I think about Eli often. I surround myself with pictures of him just because I never want to forget. And I, I won't forget him. The first game I went to after Eli's accident and my husband and my children just, we all wanted to go there to be closer to Eli. My child knew, you know, these were great kids and he's right, they are. We cheer them on and after the games, they make sure and they look for us to make sure that we're still there and they'll come out even all sweaty and everything and hug us and it's just the best feeling. Eli's team, the Mustangs, were losing. It was 56-55 and there was like three seconds left in the game. No. I had parents come up to me and they were like, I think we had a little boy upstairs helping with that shot. No. 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 And even Tucker, when he came out after the game, he was like, Eli helped me with that shot. And I was like, oh. you know, it made me cry. Even though he's gone, they know he's still with them too. He had several um, recipients, but um, one actually reached out to me. I've had two reach out to me, but one actually wrote me a handwritten note. It was really touching. I mean, it was a lot of emotions all in one, and um, I still have to write her back. I haven't done that yet, but I'm like, it's hard to find words to say to somebody that, you know, 
You're, I'm, I'm happy that they get to live their life and that parts of my child are in them and still here with us, you know, and that that's a huge blessing to me. But in the same aspect, you're kind of selfish. You wish your child was still here, but it means a lot that he is a hero.